Hey you, this is the 2KMC with all the info about the upcoming events in the city. On Fridays, head to Club 2K sponsored by Beats. Party, play, and listen to the latest tracks. This weekend is a big weekend because for Rival Day Conquest and Rival Day Championship, you can invade other territories and help your affiliation become champions of the city. On Tuesday, head to the polling booths for Election Day and vote for the new mayors of the city. On Wednesday, wear a featured Wacky Wednesday item to earn double rep. And on Thursday, head to Annie Up to play opponents with VC on the line. Next weekend, check out Mobile One Qualifiers and Mobile One Grand Prix. Start your engine and finish the race for a chance to earn exclusive My Player items, VC, and more. It's always great chatting with you all, but I gotta run. I'm late for my saxophone lesson, and my instructor does not appreciate tardiness. Welcome to a new episode of 2K TV. We've been talking my player builds over the last few weeks with the dev team, but this week we're talking with the community. Yes, you might notice a new logo in the city. We want to welcome King Jordan 2K to the community. He's been breaking down builds and making a name for himself, and he joined us in the conversation. Take a look. Ronnie, I appreciate that. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, chat! We got a logo, chat! Logo joined in the building. Let's go! Our next guest has a logo in the city. You can find him out on the YouTube and streaming sites. Welcome, King Jordan 2K to 2K TV. Thank you so much. It's an honor. You have been grinding your way towards the logo. I know we spoke a long time ago. That was a goal of yours. What does it feel like to finally get that validation? It just feels amazing. When I got the logo, you know, I feel like I'm representing for like just the, you know, the common, you know, content creator that, you know, is trying to grind and trying to get a logo. And for me to be able to grind and upload every day and show people like the devs and, you know, Ronnie does see you. Um, it's just an honor just to be here and just to represent for, you know, the um, content creators that that's like me. For those that are new to your channel, what kind of content have you been creating? I create so much content. Um, it's just um, just 2K content. Um, I do builds. Um, I show what's the best badges. Also, too, I do live streams. And I just use um, you know my platform just to talk to the community and just to show the community that, hey, you know, if you grind and you use the right things in 2K, um, you can be great, too, just like these big YouTubers are, too, as well. There's a lot of conversation we've been having here on 2K TV with Mike Wang recently about my player builds. What's the build that you're running with right now and what would you recommend to the community? Well, I'm running right now, I'm running a Power 4 build. The Power 4 builds are very, very amazing. They're just like Zion, to be honest with you. Um, they're so, you know, versatile. You can, you know, play defense. You can be able to shoot. You can attack the rim. Um, also, too, you can even be a, a playmaker like LeBron James on the floor or KD. And you can play twos or threes or what, even wreck um, if you want to play with them type of builds. You can use them for anything. So as far as this build goes, what attributes and badges did you focus on? I know you pay a lot of attention to my player builds specifically when it comes to badges. So I'd love to hear your insight on that. I focus my points on um, shooting basically. I want the max three. I want the max mid range. The park, you really don't shoot free throws. So I really don't focus my full attention on my free throws. So an 80 free throw, just in case I play rec, would be good for me. Um, and I also want to be able to rebound and um, be able to play um, perimeter defense and a little bit interior defense too. I want my physical stats to be um, up there. I want to be able to guard the guards, the centers, whoever is on the floor, I want to be able to guard. So I'm going to make sure I may have my speed and my acceleration up, a little bit of strength, most definitely stamina, and um, my vertical gotta be high. I'm trying to glide out there like Zion. 
<laughs> as far as the badges go to as well, for shooting, you want to have all the boosts that you can for shooting on the floor. I'm talking about volume shooter. I'm talking about catch and shoot, set shooter. Um, and also to beat range threes is amazing as well too. You want to have, I think it's called like hot start or hot shot. Um, you want to have them badges on because it helps you get your takeover way faster. And for defense, you want to have your clamps. You want to have um, tireless defender on, I recommend. Um, also too, you want to have clutch defender on and you got to have ankle bracer on because these guards out here, they're really, really breaking ankles. All right, so you got this amazing my player, but the big question is what takeover are you choosing when you build this build? I went with a different perspective. I want to be able to shoot consistently. So I want the precision takeover for um, sharpshooting. And also too, I want to be able to either put the lockdown takeover on, or if I got a teammate that's not really good at shooting and maybe need, maybe need help, I will go with that playmaking takeover to help your um, teammate offense abilities boost up. I love it, you're a true teammate. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta be. <laughs> so you mentioned the twos and threes. What are you running out on the 2K city? Are you out there on twos? You out there on threes? You running wreck? Well, I'm running mainly twos. I love twos. But when I do subscriber events and sub events like um, that I do on my channel, I run threes because, you know, you get a chance to play with more people. But my favorite thing is twos. I'm a competitive comp type of person. And I just love twos. Twos bring that, that mama mentality to you, that Kobe mentality. So as far as streaks go, what do you think you could get up to in terms of a winning streak on twos? Um, before I got to a 30 game winning streak on twos, um, I'm working on trying to get to 100, but on a common day basis, I say maybe like a 15 to 20 game winning streak. And uh, we, 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 we go out there and we play hard. We play hard. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna issue you a challenge right here on 2K TV. You can't let the people down. I want a 50 game win streak. I love that, I love that. I accept the challenge, Chris, I definitely do. For those that don't know your channel, where can people find your content at? You can find my content on YouTube, it's King Jordan 2 k And uh, we've been doing this for a year and it's just been a blessing. Um, I just, I'm so thankful for my subs. I'm so thankful for the people that support me. And I'm just so thankful for 2K just for, you know, seeing me and giving me an opportunity to have a logo and to be able to, you know, play with new people, meet new people and just be in this community. It's amazing. I'm taking some notes, King Jordan. Thanks so much for your insight and joining us on 2K TV. We'll have to see how that 50 game win streak goes. Hey, I can't wait to get to it, Chris, and I appreciate it, and it's an honor being here. Thank you. Absolutely. Take care. You too. Last week, Jalen Brown brought us the story of NBA legend, Hall of Famer, and activist Bill Russell. Jalen is back this week with the final installment of Respect Your OGs. What Bill Russell has done is, has been so monumental. He's definitely, you know, changed the idea of what an athlete should be and what, what, what a human being should be. I think as athletes, um, we have so much influence. So for us to use our platform to, to keep conversations alive, I think that should be a part of the role. And that's what my focus is more so on. Education and form is important to me, of course. The resources are not equal. You know, states have boards where they decide what resources get allocated and what resources don't. Nine times out of 10, minority communities are bottom on that list. Racism is a power dynamic. It's not you not liking me because of my skin complexion. To be honest, I don't lose sleep over that, but not getting the job, not being able to go to school, um, not being able to get opportunities, that's where it becomes tough. So I have commenced a program um, through my fellowship at MIT. The goal is to, to create a bridge from higher education to our low income community, attempting to align, you know, kids that we neglect with uh, opportunities that they normally wouldn't get. Internships, with resources, and hopefully that could change the education system a little bit, you know, one step at a time. When I walked into MIT for the first time, there was a wow factor that I know many people from my neighborhood would never experience when it comes to educational institution. I want to bridge that gap, make that experience more accessible. To young people, it's not a coincidence if you're at school and feel that you're not being treated equally when it comes to your education. 
Let's continue to raise this awareness and challenge these issues together. This wraps up our series on social justice in partnership with Uninterrupted. If you missed any of these episodes, we have archived them on our YouTube playlist. Please take a moment to watch. My team season six glitched reality has now entered warped reality. These packs are loaded with dominant My Team cards, and they have some unreal powers. Improve your lineup with Dark Matter cards like Ben Simmons, Shaq, and the greatest shooter of all time, Steph Curry. However, in these packs, Simmons and Shaq are shooting like Steph, and Steph is dunking like Simmons and Shaq. But the fun doesn't stop there. As you can also pick up Galaxy Opal, Kyle Kuzma, Penny Hardaway, Rudy Gay, and more. These packs are a lot of fun. So get out there and warp the reality of your My Team. This is the 2K MC, and no fooling around, I need to see your top plays of the week right now. Our first play is from Drew Skywalker TV. For my first trick, I need two defensive volunteers. Watch carefully as I make the ball disappear, only to reappear through the cylinder. Abraka dunk on you. Do I amaze you? Next play is from Bulls 23 Wizards at 2K Beach. How do you define an active player? Passing, running, handling, dunking, rolling. All three defenders look in April foolish. Come on, D, that was weeks ago. Third play sent in from the wreck with tonight's end. Stepbacks may be a signature move of modern ball, but I've never seen one create 20 feet of space like this. Uh, wrong guess going right? Yup. Closing out with It Hunter Smith catching air in the cages. Okay, need a few looks at this. Big trampoline block. Runs up, under the legs. Wait, was that blocked? Hey, I need some of you to stay still so I can figure this out. Catch your breath, buddy. Let's just say two points and vote. Vote now for your top play of the week and submit your top plays to social media using the hashtag 2KTVWOW. I'm the 2K MC, trying to mount my flat screen. Where's that tiny screwdriver? Hey, you. Yeah, you. If you're not following us on social, you're probably missing out. Yeah, what are you doing? Follow us right now. We're at NBA 2K underscore 2K TV. We have weekly top play winners, exclusive interviews, and so much more. That's right. We'll see you there. And next week, we'll see you right here on 2K TV. Until then, enjoy the game. See ya. Hello, I'm the 2KMC, here to tell you about what's going on in the neighborhood. This weekend, if you're an all-star rep or higher, you can earn triple rep at training days by playing with rookie or pro rep players. On Wednesday, it's rec time. Make your way to the rec because all day long you can earn double rep. 
Next weekend, how about some basketball gods? In this event, you keep playing until you lose, and your longest streak will be used for the leaderboard rankings. All games are worth double rep, and prizes include exclusive My Player items, VC, and more. And for more Wednesday fun, I better see all you dime droppers at Dime Time, where you'll be working with the community to reach the assist goal. If the goal is met, not only will I be happy, but so will you, because all participants will earn VC, and the top contributors will get a special prize too. That's it for me. I'm gonna soak up some sunlight at the 2K beach. Hey, did someone take my sunscreen again?